Hello everyone, I just wanted to show you how to make this little spring chickadee designed by Cottage Cuts from the Scrapping Cottage. Now I cut out the little chickadee in a few different patterns because I like the dimension that it gives to the finished product. So as you can see here, I have this one all inked up and just about ready to go. I need to ink the edges of the dress and the hat and put the, the flower on. So I was going to show you how I did that. So I cut the little chickadee from this pattern paper and, and you should be able to see that the eyes are debossed. Now that that allows you to either color the eyes in or what I like to do I like to use the peachy keen faces so I'm using the peachy keen face stamps the critter faces set it's PK 753 and it's the little happy lash bird so because it has those indentations I just take a little you can either use your thumbnail to smooth it out by flipping it over or a stylus you can and that'll take away some of the indentation so that it's easier to stamp on and not so noticeable so I use memento ink And then I just stamp the face on the chickadee. So as you can see, if you compare the two, you can see that inking the edges really makes the image pop and stand out. So I'll show you how I do that. I am using color box chalk yellow citrus ink and I use a piece of a sponge from Stampin' Up and then I just go around the edges to add some shading and that really really does make the image pop So after I do that, I'm going to color in her beak and I'm going to give her some cheeks. So I'm using the YR16 Copic marker and I am just going to give it a little bit of orange. And then for her cheeks, I have a Lowell Cornell number no. two fabric dye brush. It's a it's a stiff bristle brush. Sorry, I'm full of ink and <laughs> different colors. Um, and I'm using the Stampin' Up pastels. So you just choose a color that you like, and then I just kind of just put it on like in a circle. And then I also add some to the feathers to give it some more gosh, shading. And it's where the, the dye has put an indentation to, to show the depth dimension. So I already assembled one of the Easter baskets. So now I'm going to take the hat and the dress and I'm going to distress the edges with some Memento Ladybug red ink using the same technique with the sponge. You just go around the edges again.
and because I want the inside of the hat it, to be darker because it would be darker from the shadows I'm just going to ink up the edges inside the hat more than I did on the rest of the hat And then if you just want to add a little shading in where the brim of the hat is, you can just fold this down a little and then flick the edge of that as well. Or you can put a piece of paper in there and then ink it. So I'm going to glue the hat on. I'm using Zig um, <laughs> two-way glue. So I'm just going to put some some glue. I want it up a little bit more. And then I, I'm going to glue the flower on. I put a, um, a little rhinestone by Dar Daris. It's a little red rhinestone for the center of the flower. And now I'm going to do the same with the dress. I'm going to ink the edges with red. And then also do the little ruffle area and then I'm going to glue that on her and she'll be all set. I wanted to show you also that um, because I because I cut the chick from this pattern paper it has little polka dots on it it's kind of hard to see but you can just then color the feet of the chick and I use the YR16 Copic marker and I just colored right over that and then they were all set to glue down. So I hope that this information was helpful and if you have any questions please please do ask on the, on the blog and you will see the finished product on tomorrow on well, I'm sorry. You'll see the finished product on the blog on the, at the Scrapping Cottage. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.